Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. We're going after the King of Skulls, and we're... We have not had luck with this encounter in the past. So we're gonna try to get close to this treasure chest. We get a 50-50 shot. Choose from these options. Seriously. Never gonna escape from poison gas. I saw it through the first shuffle. All right, we got it open. Four game guards, armory, the berserker ring or Okay, what's time heals do? During combat, press R1 to twist time and return your health to its starting value. Oh, I love that. Okay, it's time to go crawl for the priest, I think. Let's see what we can buy. Maybe a cooler weapon? Maybe, I don't know. Eye blessings. Will of the gods. At the start of each combat, a random opponent is highlighted. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care about any. During combat, has a chance to poison the attacker. And I don't really care about any of that stuff. Remove curses. In combat, every die. Oh, I could get rid of that for 23. But I actually don't mind that particular curse. Well, maybe we'll find another shop where we can actually buy items instead of blessings. Okay, wandering minstrels and help the locals. I don't care about any of those. I would have taken another golem hunting party, though. That's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. It has been many ages since the uh, he could be anywhere. Traveling coming. Tinker. Here we go. Let's see if this guy's. What? It's an ambush! Six of Plague, four of Dust. This is dumb. Wow. I forgot that you could have random ambushes like this, but. Hey, there's a trap there. Okay. Alright, so there's my artifact in action. <laughs> Gotta get out of the way of that trap. Is there anything left over here? No. Alright. We did it. With the help of our artifact. I was just trying to get to a shop, man. I got attacked by ten enemies. That's so crazy. So now I, now I can approach the shop. Great. Do you have enemy blocker? Because that would be awesome. Mortal Whimsy. This randomly takes the properties of a different weapon each combat. Once per encounter, the player may choose to discard randomly drawn monster cards and draw again. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. I want more to whimsy. I don't have enough for this other stuff. Weapon when you can have them all. Player's max health is increased by five for every blessing they have. That's that's pretty good. The more powerful you become. So we leave the shot. It's not a message for the ages. I don't know what is. All right, we got the last one. Let us take a token on their food. On a moonlit night, you see a group of golems on their way to attack another human settlement. This one's gonna be two, yeah. Really? The creatures notice your approach. One of them manages to get behind you and gain the first strike. One health pain card. Okay, so we still get to fight. Huh. I just gotta be careful because... Gee. But I do have the slowing curse on, so that's fine. Been hit twice now by these guys. Okay. And that's what my artifact's for! I was very lucky that that was a skippable attack. Or an interruptible attack. Man, you guys! You, you, okay, you can't do that. You, you, you seriously can't. See if we can keep that guy down in the the gully there. We cannot. Okay, I defeated that one. Nice! I got him! Cool! So, so Golem Hunting Party is now out of our deck. And I'm going to move back and forward between two encounter cards that don't matter. Time heals went away? It could just go away? Having dispatched a third group of the rock creatures, the regular surface raids against the human cease. At the next village you visit, the people come out and greet you warmly. I get two game cards, and the card's token is now mine. Got five food. 15 health. That helps. It's going to be obnoxious to travel back and forth between these two places. Okay. Alright, the King of Skulls! The mighty Lord Once of the Undead, the Skeleton King's enemy. defenses are practically impenetrable, and he will use both sword and shield to fell you. The most fearsome undead warrior ever seen, he carries on one arm a shield that would crush most men, and with the other wields a two-handed sword with deadly ease. We've got pretty good health for this. I will happily wager on the outcome. The mighty Lord of the... yeah. So practically impenetrable. He will use a sword and shield to fell you. That's what it said.
All right, he's mean looking. Jeez, gotta get out of there. Corpse explosion, really. Wow, we got him. You've been well used here. The King of Skulls has avoided my grasp until now. You have sent him to my realm. It is time for a long delayed reckoning. Alright, so the Pentacle. So we get new starting gear. Um, deadly combatant. Uh, I advance to powerful blows more quickly. Blessing bonus. At the start of your adventure, I will be I will get a blessing. Skeleton regeneration. Skeletons will now reanimate. Ratmen leap attack. Ratmen warriors will perform leap attacks and skeleton health increase. Skeletons have had their health increased. But we get a blessing at the start of every attempt we do with stuff. Now. Take the pentacle, then. It will only benefit you so far and no further. More power for you. All right. So, for turning back the golem hunting parties, I received this card. 25 gold. Uh, armory draw. Hags wraps and summoned as a reward for defeating the Skeleton King. Skeleton King helm, Skeleton King shield, Skeleton King sword, Queen of Scales, Cave rescue. So yeah, we get some new encounters. Than I ever expected. And when we come back, we'll be uh, dealing with some new rules. I'll see you guys for that. Bye, everybody.